would freeze energy prices back in the autumn of 2013 at his conference. And since then, though, energy prices have fallen as a result of the fall in the wholesale energy market pricing structure. So today, Labour has announced a couple of tweaks to the policy. The first is to give the energy regulator Ofgem the legal duty to review prices by the autumn. Then the regulator will have uh, power to force energy companies to reduce prices prices by next winter. And this Labour hopes will reduce household bills by £100 by the end of the year. Well, joining me now from uh, Glasgow is the Shadow Energy Minister Tom uh, Greatrex. Welcome to the programme. Uh, I thought you were going to abolish off gems, so why are you giving it more powers? We will. We will replace off gem with a new regulator with uh, refocused remit, but that is part of our package of reforms which we'll introduce over the course of the time when the price freeze to stop prices going up but not necessarily come down is in place but we think it's important after 15 months of, con of continual wholesale cost reduction which haven't been passed on to the consumers that the regulator that is in place at the uh, currently until the regulator is replaced takes that duty and has that power to ensure that if companies are not passing on those reductions in the right way that the regulator can intervene to make sure they do there's a matter of so basic are you instructing off gem to cut prices no we're giving off gem the duty to ensure they're, they're passed on cost reductions if they're not being passed on by the companies they're able to intervene to do so. Ofgem have expressed concern around this uh, in recent months and when there were some very partial limited caveated uh, reductions from the large companies to standard variable tariffs back in January they made the point that it was a small step but only a small step and recognizing that the, the differential between wholesale cost reductions and what's happening to consumers and businesses' bills uh, wasn't, uh, wasn't in tune in the way that it should be. And what happens if Ofgem, having looked at the uh, market and taking everything into consideration, says we think that a, a price cut of only £20 is justifiable? What do you do then? Well, it's, it's for the regulator to have that duty and to have that power if the companies don't do it themselves. I think it's highly unlikely, given we've had 15 months, as I said, of sustained reduction in wholesale prices. And remember the cost reductions which have come through from the companies that apply only uh, to gas and then in a limited extent not to electricity prices which have fallen 17% in that time. I think it's highly unlikely that that's the conclusion Ofgem would come to but it's up to them to do that. That's what the, it's so giving the power to a regulator to be able to take that role. If the companies don't so do it themselves, look I prefer the companies to do it themselves. That would be the right thing sure. and that would be, that would be uh, an, indi an indicator of a dynamic competitive element of this market working. It's right. not worked. It's not been working in the past few years. It needs to change. Right but let's be clear. It, when you say, and I'm sure your election propaganda will say you're promising a, a £100 cut in uh, our energy bills by Christmas, that's not the case, is it, really? It's a, you, you're, you're fixing the rules to make it possible for Ofgem to do this, but in the end, it'll be in the hands of Ofgem, a regulator that you're about to make redundant. So you cannot guarantee this cut, correct? The, the regulator will have the duty and the power to ensure mm. that wholesale costs are being properly passed on. So you can they've guarantee fallen, it? They've fallen for 15 months, Andrew, both in terms of gas and electricity. Mm. That cost reduction has not been passed on to consumers over that sustained period. The regulator themselves have currently said they can see there's an issue there and that the small reductions there have been, the caveated limited reductions, are not good enough and only a small step. There's a real issue here. It needs to be addressed. The regulator will have the power to but do that. I expect that's exactly what the regulator will do because all the indicators, both in terms of the analysis they've made of the market and that others have made of the market, have demonstrated that people are paying more than they could or should be uh, and the wholesale cost reductions have not been passed on to them in, in their bills in the way that, as you know, when wholesale costs go up, they get passed on immediately. Yeah, but one of the uh, reasons why the, the energy companies haven't been passing on the wholesale price reductions is because when you threaten them with a freeze, they ran into the wholesale market and bought forward uh, before prices had started to fall. So your own freeze has lumbered us with higher prices than we would have had otherwise. And that is not just the big six saying that. Many experts in the energy market are saying that too. Well, it's not the case because if the prices have been frozen at the point on the 24th of September when uh, Ed Miliband made his conference speech in 2013, there would be around £100 uh, lower than they are now because what the companies did was they put their prices up towards the end of last year, saying it's because of uh, high, higher wholesale costs. Wholesale costs have come down in the following 15 months. They haven't then... Uh, follow through and, and, re and reduce prices. It's something that George Osborne said a few months ago that he recognised it as an issue. In fact, if you go back, it's something that David Cameron said in 2009, the regulator should have the power to do. We've had two right. votes on that in June and then in January uh, of this year to ensure that the regulator has that power, which the Conservative government voted against. They've not done anything on this. They should have done. And what we're saying is coming into government, we will do. Okay, Tom Gretchen, thanks uh, for that. Thank Joining you. us from Glasgow there. Uh,